Hi friends, it's Sophie. I am so excited for today's class because it's a hip opening flow. If you feel like you need a little extra attention on your hips today, this class is exactly for you. You don't need anything except your mat, but if you have blocks at home, have them nearby because they can really come in handy. I'll see you on your mat. Welcome to your practice. Today we're starting in a seated pose, just like this, a Sukhasana. So you come to a cross-legged position, and then you separate your feet a little bit so your ankles are not on top of one another, so that top leg just moves forward slightly out from underneath of the bottom. And then you simply just walk your hands down and fold forward, and just relax the upper body. You should feel a stretch on the outer hip of whatever leg is in front. It should also feel really good on the back of the neck. Let yourself soften into stillness. Now walk your hands slowly back up. And we simply switch, so we do the opposite leg in front now. And walk the hands forward the left outer hip, or for me it's the left, but whichever one's in front is what you're gonna feel. Congratulations on rolling out your mat and pressing play on the video. That's the hardest part. So you're here, you made it. Take a deep breath. And walk your hands back up. We'll come upright. And then come into a seated or into a tabletop position onto your hands, hands and knees. And a couple rounds of cat cows just to open up the spine, warm up the spine. So as you inhale, arch your back. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch your back and open. Exhale, round your spine, dome your back. Again, one more time, inhale. And exhale, round your spine. And then come to neutral tabletop. Tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. And just for measurement, shift forward into plank and go back to downward facing dog and don't walk the hands back, right? So that's, that's how long you should be. You should have your knees a little bit bent, your hips, your tailbone reaching to the sky. Your heels aren't touching the ground. They're lifted high. And then look forward and take a couple steps forward, several steps, tiptoes to the front of the mat. And when you get there, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold in half. Again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. On your inhale, stand up and reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Bring your arms now down by your sides. Reach the arms to the sky, inhale. Grab onto your left wrist, take a side bend to the right. Draw the left lower ribs inwards. Reach your arms up, grab onto the right wrist, take a side bend to the left. Reach your arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Good, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to the ground. Then take your fingertips out to the sides of your mat and lift up for cobra on the fingertips. Draw the elbows in. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Place your hands underneath your elbows. Tuck your toes, lift your thighs. Press up to plank in one straight, strong line. Downward facing dog. 
Inhale. Exhale. Look forward again. Walk your feet up to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand and reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bring your arms down by your sides. Inhale, reach them up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step your left foot back into lunge. Set your back knee down. Open up your chest and draw the shoulders back. Inhale. On your exhale, straighten your right leg and lift the sole of the foot up if you want. Inhale, bend your right knee, come into lunge. And exhale, step forward, halfway lift. Step your right foot back. Keep breathing. Set your back knee down, open up your chest. Inhale. On your exhale, straighten your left leg. Lift the sole of the foot up. Bend your left knee, come back into lunge, step forward, halfway lift, and plant your hands, step back into plank. Inhale. And your exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in, breath out. Lift your right leg up to the sky. Inhale, bend your knee, open up your hip, exhale. You can circle your right ankle around a little bit if you'd like. Make sure you're pulling your left hip back so you're not dumping to the left side too much. And then straighten your right leg back out, inhale. And exhale, step your foot outside of your right hand, lizard. First, move forwards and backwards to settle into the hips. Find stillness here. Then take your right arm and open it up to the right. Keep your right toe, big toe planted down on the ground. Right arm is up. And then take that right arm and take it back behind you. And then forward in front of your eyes and up. So you're taking circles. Inhale, back. Exhale, bring it around. And reach it up. Keep your back thigh strong and lifted. And again, bring it around. And take your arm straight up and pause here. Now set your back knee down. And now you can let the inside of that right foot lift up a little bit off the ground. And option to bend your back knee and grab onto your foot. You can always grab a strap and hold onto your foot if you want here. Now you can either stay here and enjoy this nice stretch, or if you want a little bit more, you're going to bring your right shoulder in towards your right knee. Kind of curl in a little bit and then open back up again. Inhale, exhale, go in. Inhale, you open up. Exhale, go in. So you're going to feel different parts of your quadriceps getting stretched. Inhale, open. Gently release your foot. Take your arm up and then bring your hand back down and Lift your back knee up, inhale. Exhale, walk your hands over to the left side. Re, uh, readjust your legs so that your heels are in line with each other. Prasarita Padottanasana, lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Then bring your fingertips out in front of you. So it's like down dog with your upper body. And engage your glutes to the sky. Bring your hands back under your shoulders. Lift up halfway. Bend your right knee into side lunge. And your hands just go over to the right a little bit. Press through the outer edge of your left foot. So you're just bending into, your, into a side lunge here. And then switch sides. Keep your spine long, so back flat. And press through the outer edge of your right foot. Bent, left knee is bent. Inhale. Exhale, walk your hands to the back of the mat. Low lunge, so now you're at the back of the mat. Set your back knee down, walk your left fingertips over to the left, and then take your right arm up and move it over to the left side. 
So you have this nice opening of the right side. You should feel it in the right side of your hip or maybe the front of your right hip. Keep opening up. And then on your inhale, reach your arm up and exhale, place your hand down to the ground. Good, lift your back knee, pyramid, so straighten your left leg, bring your right foot up and in and place it um, in the position for pyramid pose. So you want your foot to be a little, a little bit closer together, your two feet, versus in a nice long lunge, right? So then lengthen and walk your hands forward over your left leg. Press back through your right thigh. And then look forward and come into standing split. Lift your right leg up. Lift your leg as high as you can without opening your right hip too much to the right. And then flex your right foot and square your hips. Square your hips. Good. So feel the difference now. When the hips are squared, it actually is, feels like more of a stretch, at least for me anyway. So really square your hips by drawing the right hip down a little. Pull the left hip back. Good. Now option to bend your right knee and grab onto the foot with the left hand. That's totally optional. If you have the foot, take the leg straight back up and forward fold, front of the mat. Halfway lift and fold again. Chair pose, bend the knees, sweep your arms up, breathe, pause. Now we're gonna stand up, take the right leg with us into one-legged mountain pose and cross your right ankle over your left thigh and bring your hands to your heart. So you're balancing on that left leg, shoulders back and down. Sit low and stick your butt back. In other words, you're tilting your pelvis forward, keeping the chest open. Get a little lower for three, two, and on one, let's stand up, back to one-legged mountain. Warrior three, take your right leg back behind you, balance, flex your right foot, Draw your lower ribs up. Either stay here or you can interlace your hands behind your back. Pull the shoulders back and down. Feeling your left glutes working. And gently step back to high lunge. Keep your hands interlaced. Open your chest a bit, but draw the lower ribs in at the same time. Release your arms, reach them up, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Readjust your feet so your heel and left heel is in line with the arch of the right foot. On your inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. So we're facing the front of the room now. Left hand on your hip, look forward, half moon. Right hand down, the left leg goes up. Reach your left arm up. Your left hip is angled slightly downwards, just a tiny, tiny bit. And then can you open your rib cage to the left more? Can you get your right side of your rib cage more to the sky? Slowly and gently step to warrior two. Flip your right palm, reverse warrior. Inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge. Go ahead, pause here, put your back knee down on the ground and straighten your right leg out for half split. Lengthen your spine and fold over your right leg. Of course, you have a, if you have a full split that you like to do sometimes, you can do that as long as you're warm, you feel warmed up enough. But otherwise, this is just fine. Ardha Hanumanasana, half monkey pose. Just make sure you're really flexing the feet, the toes, and drawing the right pinky toe back. Good, and then wherever you are, you're gonna put your hands inside of your right leg, and we're gonna swing the right leg back around into three-legged dog. So take it up and around, inhale. And on your exhale, bring your right knee to your right upper arm. 
and then bring your knee down towards the right wrist and then back up and down and up, lower down, lift it as high up as you can up into your armpit and go down and up. We're doing one more time, lower, lift, three-legged dog, inhale. On your exhale, pigeon, right knee to right wrist, set your leg down, come up onto your fingertips, slide your left leg back. Breathe. Can you put your right hand on your right thigh and your left hand on your left foot? And how does that feel? If it feels like it's really, really hard, stay here. If you feel like maybe you can do more, put your hands to your heart. Last option, extend your arms up for exalted pigeon. Good, if you have your arms all the way up, you can take your arms back behind you and shift forward. We're gonna do this three times. Otherwise, stay where you are. And inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, take your arms back behind you. Shift forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms back. Inhale, reach up, breathe. And put your fingertips to the ground. Good. And step back to downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank. Come up onto your right fingertips and lift your left leg off of the ground and take your right arm forward and bring your left knee to your right elbow if you can and extend it back out. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Plank, that was hard. Shift forward, chaturanga. Come back up to plank. Lower down, chaturanga, upward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, down dog. All right, let's catch our breaths here. That was a lot, that was a long sequence. So if you need more time, pause the video. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna keep going. Ready, lift your left leg up. Bend your knee, open your hip, circle your ankle. Straighten your leg back out, square your hips. Inhale. Exhale, step your foot outside of your left hand. So we're in lizard, move forwards and backwards. Good, keep your right hand down, take your left arm up, open to the left. Keep your back thigh firmed up. Take your left arm back behind you and you're making those circles like backstrokes. Inhale, lift, exhale, bring it around. So taking up space as you swim your arm through the air, right? And then read your arm straight up, inhale, pause, exhale, put your back knee down. Untuck your toes and then bend your knee and grab onto your foot if you are taking that option. I always find that it helps people to open, to lift the inside of the left foot a little bit and roll onto the outer edge of the left ankle. Just a little, just a little. So you can either stay here or you can bring your left shoulder in towards your left knee and then inhale, reopen. Exhale, left shoulder in towards your knee. Inhale, open. Last time, exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open up. And exhale, gently release the foot. Put the hands down, lift your back knee. Walk your hands to the right side. Readjust your feet. It's okay if you have to readjust. You should have to. Lengthen and fold, and then walk your hands back behind you, or honestly, do whatever variation feels good to you. Maybe you grab onto your ankles, maybe you just have your hands under your shoulders. Bring your hands back under your shoulders and lift up halfway. 
bend your left knee into side lunge. So it's gonna look like um, you're, we're doing our left, our right, but we're doing our left. <laughs> so do your left leg and then switch. So now you're bending your right knee. Good, now turn and face the back of the mat, low lunge, and put your back knee down on the ground. Untuck your toes. Put your right fingertips over to the right, and your left arm up and over to the right also. And for this, this is a pretty deep stretch. If it's too much for you, you can back off. You can just, you know, come up here with your hands to your heart. There's always an alternative. And what works in my body might not work in yours not because I'm stronger or more flexible, but because that we have different body types, different lengths of our arms and legs, and that's okay. Inhale, reach your arm up. Exhale, put your hands down. Lift your back knee, straighten your right leg, and bring your back foot in a little bit so your legs are closer, and lengthen, and fold over your right leg. Perhaps you walk your fingertips forward a bit. Good, from there, standing split. Lift your left leg up as high as you can. Lift it really, really high. You should feel it in your glutes, especially your right one. And then flex your left foot and square your hips. So now you drop your left hip a little bit. Keep your left leg straight. Keep a micro bend in your right knee. Inhale. On your exhale, uh, oh, I'm, I forgot something, stay here. Bend your knee and grab onto your foot. If you did that on the other side, you can try it on this side. If not, you're staying in just regular standing split. Enjoy the wonderful stretch. And then straighten your leg back out. Forward fold. So it's the back of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, sweep your arms up. So for this one, we're ta bringing the tailbone a little bit down. So we're not like sticking the butt far back. You wanna draw the tailbone down so you're using the right muscles. And then stand and take your left leg with you. Figure four, standing figure four, hands at your heart, sit low. So now it's the opposite alignment that we were just talking about. Now you are sticking your booty back. You are um, arching your back, your lower back into a forward pelvic tilt. And if none of that makes sense to you right now, that's okay. Just ignore me <laughs> and do your best. Get a little lower for three, two, one. Stand up, take the left leg with you. Warrior three, left leg back behind you. We're almost off of this leg, so stay with me. Interlace your hands behind your back. Maybe do the opposite thumb on top, on top whichever one feels awkward. Take your arms straight back. Keep your arms clasped, step back to high lunge. Open your chest. Good, let's reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. Right hand on your hip, look forward, half moon. Make sure your left toes are really pointed forward. And then lift your back leg up. Flex your foot and reach your right arm up. Very gently step back to warrior two. Flip your left palm, reverse warrior. Inhale, exhale, cartwheel your hands down, low lunge, pause, set your back knee down, 
Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Straighten your left leg. Lengthen your spine and fold forward. Perhaps walk your fingertips forward. Good, stay there for a couple breaths while I adjust my mic. Perhaps full split if you want, if it's safe for you. Okay, then take one more breath. And bring your hands inside of your foot to the right side. Swing your leg around and come into downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. And inhale and exhale. Bring your left knee to your left upper arm. Lower your left knee down to your left wrist and then lift it back up. Lower it down and lift it up. Lower down, lift up. Again, lower and lift. Three-legged dog, take your leg up and back. Good. Bring your left knee to your left wrist, upper arm again, and put your leg down for a pigeon. Come onto your fingertips and come upright. Good. Slide your back leg back. We might be doing things slightly out of order on this side. That's okay, we're gonna get all of it in. Good. Shoulders back and down. Good, so put your left hand on your left thigh and your right hand on your right, on your left foot, okay? And see if you can stay there. Or you can put your hands to, in front of your chest or take your arms straight up. If this hurts your back, then don't do it. Okay, inhale, exhale, shift forward, arms back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, shift forward, arms back. Inhale, reach. One more time, exhale, airplane. Inhale, reach it up. And then place your hands down to the ground. Pause, tuck your toes, lift your back knee, step back to three-legged dog. Good, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, lower down chaturanga, pause. Come back up to plank. Lower down chaturanga, pause. Come back up to plank, stay here. Take your right leg back and your left arm forward, hold. Inhale, exhale, bring your knee and elbow together. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee and elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, in. Inhale out, hand and foot come down, downward facing dog. See, I told you we get it all in, even though it was slightly different than the last side. If you even noticed, that's okay. Take a breath in and breath out. Okay, set your knees down onto the ground and take your right, uh, take your right leg behind your left so we're going to go Mukhasana. So crossing your, your legs, taking your feet out to the sides, and then sitting back on your butt. And so we're doing go Mukhasana. Your left leg is on top of the right. So I'm going to turn to face you so you can see. Your left leg is indeed on top of your right. And we're sitting tall. And we're squaring, kind of squaring the hips by um, anchoring the left tailbone down. Dexter, please stop. Okay, this is at home yoga, you guys. Walk the hands down and fold. Let your head hang. Just notice where you feel this in your body. and then walk your hands up. We're gonna do something from here, so stay here. Bring your right hand to the ground. So for you, it's opposite direction. And take your left arm up and over. And then perhaps put your 
forearm down, but you don't have to if it's a lot for you right now. Um, I've been doing a lot of movement today, so I'm warmed up for this, but it's been a short practice, so if that's too much, then please, by all means, take it step back. All right, let's come back up. All right, nice. We're just gonna switch our legs. Just switch the cross of your legs. Knees on top of each other. And sit tall. And then walk the hands forward once you feel comfortable there. Notice how the sides are different from the other. And it's amazing, isn't it, all that we can do on this mat, on this rectangle of a mat. We can have all this movement and almost stress on the body, right, when we're doing a strong practice. And then we can be right back here into our calm, parasympathetic nervous system. Come back up and bring your left hand to the left and your right arm up. And maybe you just bend here if you feel like you need a little more. Put your forearm down. And this is fantastic practice to do. If it's your only movement today, that's completely fine. If there's plenty of days where my only movement is a t 10, 20, 30 minute practice, and that's it, and that's great. And rise back up. Good, come upright and take your legs straight out in front of you um, for Paschimottanasana. So we're gonna grab onto the outer edges of the feet with the knees bent and lengthen the spine out. Knees are bent and fold. Feel your belly and chest rest right onto your thighs. And then if you want to, if you're able to, then you can start to straighten the legs a little more, but it's not necessary. And walk the hands up and sit up tall and lay down onto your back and hug your knees in to your chest. Take your knees wide and you can rock side to side a bit here. And from here, take anything else that you feel like you need or want right now. Or Go right to Shavasana. So that's where we're going next. Legs down, arms wide by your sides, eyes closed. Experience your body right here, right now. anything that you've been worrying about. Remind yourself that worrying is essentially useless to us the majority of the time. A useless emotion. Not all the time, but mo most of the time. And in fact, harmful. So whatever it is that's been going on, let that go right now for the next couple minutes. You have nothing to worry about. And give yourself permission to rest in the openness of the mind, the vibrancy of the body. Perhaps you feel little vibrations, energy moving through your body. Lean into that.
Begin to bring movement back into the body. Touch your thumb to each fingertip. Open and close your palms. Move your toes. Take your arms overhead. Roll over onto the right side and pause. Perhaps you stay here for a little while longer and enjoy it. Or you rise up and come up to a seat. If you have time, stay here, maybe in a seated meditation. The best time to do it is right after yoga asana practice like we did. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Let's bring the hands together at the heart. The light in me honors the light within you. Namaste.